Mianagan Danang, Danganuai Cray Critchy, Naya Dangadi Guri, Naya Dangadi Guyar, Naya Manan Nurawalda Gutunda Badia. Uh, how are you all? My name is Craig Ritchie. I'm a Dungadi man and I'm speaking or was speaking in Dungadi language. I walk and live on Ngunnawal country. Hello and welcome to About the House. The House Indigenous Affairs Committee is continuing its inquiry into the growing presence of inauthentic Indigenous style art in Australia. The committee recently heard from Craig Ritchie, the CEO of the Australian Institute of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Studies, or IATSIS for short. Well, for us, all authentic uh, art is art that's produced by or under the direct supervision um, and control of Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander people. So inauthentic art is the, precisely the opposite of that. It's, it's, uh, be, it, it's work that's produced to look as though it's Indigenous in one form or another, uh, and usually in a, in a particularly traditional uh, and often Central Australian type form. Mr Ritchie pointed out that the harm caused by the sale of inauthentic art can affect more than just Indigenous artists. Sure, well there's a couple of problems. First of all there's a problem in that it plays into stereotypes about uh, who Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people are in 2018. Uh, so it tends to play to, play to those stereotypes of uh, traditional, uh, what you might call classic uh, Indigenous cultures. Uh, the, the second problem is um, the impact that it has on our communities is that it undercuts uh, economic development um, and livelihoods of Indigenous artists in particular uh, because it makes available, uh, if you like, cheap knockoffs um, for gullible tourists uh, and others. It's the same as me trying to sell you a Rembrandt. Uh, if I can convince you to pay me what you think a Rembrandt's worth, but I don't tell you that it was Bert Rembrandt down behind my house that painted it, um, I'm up and you're, you're out of pocket and, and you don't get what you think you've got. A key part of Mr Ritchie's evidence to the committee was that Indigenous art is more than just stereotypical dot art. Well, Indigenous Australia is incredibly diverse, right? So we have people that are saltwater people or inland people, uh, people that live by rivers, people uh, so we have a diverse community, um, uh, diverse communities within Indigenous Australia, each of whom will have their own stories, their own knowledges, their own traditions and their own expressions of their culture. And so uh, it's important to find a way or, or ways to be able to reflect that so that, uh, so that when people come to the country, they're able to get a, a genuine appreciation of, of what Indigenous Australia is and importantly that that doesn't present us as being locked into a way of expressing our cultures uh, that uh, was encountered in 1788 or 1852 or even uh, 1960 something right that we our cultures grow our cultures develop our expressions keep pace with the world around us and so it's important that uh, indigenous artists in particular are not constrained uh, to a particular form or a particular representation but we can make, they can make use of the full range of technologies and materials available to them. Thanks for watching. The Indigenous Affairs Committee is still accepting submissions on the topic of inauthentic Indigenous art. If you'd like to have your say, visit aph.gov.au forward slash Indigenous Affairs to make a submission online or to learn more about the inquiry.